Hey YouTube, little video today about how to do a little upgrade on your MS-170 steel chainsaw. Um, I've been using this quite a lot recently, having ordered some wood for the uh, log burner that I've been chopping up. And um, so I've come across a video of this little, this little um, upgrade, which is a chain tensioner. Now it's already got a chain tensioner, as you'd imagine, uh, but it's a bit of a fiddly one. And so I'm always a little bit fiddly here. You've got to get your screwdriver down here and then just adjust it that way. So I saw a video where you can get this upgrade kit and this is the part number here. That's the part number there. It's about 23 pounds on eBay. So roughly about that. But what it means is that you can tension it through this hole here. So it's a lot easier. You basically loosen these two, give it a chain tension um, and just a little upgrade. I've done a few upgrades on this. I've put some, um, some teeth on it here. Got a longer bar, which made a real big difference. I'll put a video or a photo of the size of the logs this can cut now, probably the maximum it can cut, which is pretty impressive with the smallest chainsaw. Um, so I'll put that up in a second. Yeah, I wouldn't mind um, getting a, an upgrade here. There is actually an issue with this where it's not oiling, so I'm gonna do another video about that later. Um, I've got some tools to um, work out how to kind of go about that. I think it needs a clean or a filter change, but I'll do that later. So I've got a very dry chain at the moment. And it seems to be that it got so hot, it's kind of burnt on some of the material. So I'll be cleaning that, um, taking it apart and um, cleaning out the oiler. And then we're all back to work, perfect working order. Once you take the chain and the bar off, you can see how this works. So you, you tighten this or loosen this, and then you've got that screw there and it pulls this forward or backwards. And it goes into a little hole at the bottom of your chain saw bar and pulls it forward, forward, back. Um, so, you know, it works fine, but it's a bit fiddly being down there. This gubbins, when I put it together, will be geared so that you can access it via, via here, oh, sorry, via here, um, which is just a little bit better. This is what comes in the pack, and I've just got to work out how it all goes together, and I'll show you it installed. This is how it all goes together. It's a bit fiddly to show on camera, and um, we haven't got a stand, but, Essentially, if you have a look at this, you've got the one cog there meets this one on this side. So it literally just slots in there. You have to build it kind of one one piece by one piece. You can't um, install it before it goes in. So that goes in there. Then this is obviously the, the, uh, the tooth that comes out to push the bar forward and backwards. That has to slot in there. Uh, you can't screw this in in one go because there's not enough room. So basically what you do is... You once it's together, you place that at the end, turn this um, this screw here, and then it slowly threads into there. So now it's one one piece. So if you just have a look at that, that's how it all goes together. And then you have to screw that into the end just there. Uh, I'm going to grease it because it's um, it's a bit it's a bit of um, friction there, and then it'll be ready to go in in a second. Let's put a bit of grease in. That's all put together, you've got to take out the old one. You've got this little insert which is replaceable that comes out. Which is the whole thing. I don't want to damage it just because I keep it as a spare. A bit fiddly with one hand. And that's it, so that's come out. And then give it a clean and I'll pop it. That's clean now and you pop in the gubbins there. And then you have this little white thing that just goes in the end. It's in now, so a little tip is that you've really got to push it in because um, if those cogs don't align properly, you can undo it, but you can't tighten it. So that little um, long sprocket, um, which is connected to this one, has to be pushed in right back so there's no movement. So it works now perfectly. Um, it's more forced to pull it back that way. But like I said, if those, if those gears don't align properly, then it's impossible. So when you push it in, really push it back as far as it can go. So it's nice and tight and there's no movement with that bottom screw. Uh, this one's not as important and then once that's in that's all working and then this goes in they've got a little little hole there that goes around the excess screw and that pushes it in 
and that's all done. Happy with the uh, installation, the little T25 star bit goes in there. I think it's T25, um, just to secure it in place. Put the covers on, um, you've got a little hole already made there. Uh, maybe for the upgrade, I'm not sure, I'm assuming it is. Uh, and then your little tool that comes with the screwdriver goes through the middle of the bar and you can tension it that way. So it's a lot simpler than going out the front. So that's all good. So the next job before I put this back on is just clean the chain up because it's got um, it got quite hot before and it's not oiling, which is another project I've got to do. And I think a lot of the chippings have burnt on. So I'm going to clean that off, clean that off, put it back on. Then I'll do another video later on how to oil it or fix the oiling. So when you're out and about doing your chain sawing, it's a lot easier now just to tension the chain. Obviously mine's done already. Rather than go through here and get a bit fiddly in there. So a uh, minor alteration, slight upgrade. There's three upgrades on this now. I've got a couple of spikes here, longer bar, and now the sides tensioner. So the last thing to do is sort the oiling out. I'm not gonna do it today because I've cleaned the, the uh, chain up with some wire wool and just chop down We'll chop up a lot of this wood, but uh, it does need to be fixed, so that'll be a future video. So this is the MS-170, which is the smallest saw of the steel range, um, but with a few upgrades on it, like I've done, where I've got a 14-inch bar, got the teeth at the front, and the side chain tensioner. It really is a capable saw. I mean, look at the size of these logs that I'm chopping up. These are probably the maximum that you'd want to chop up with this saw, but uh, these logs are huge. They're so big you couldn't carry them. Um, and obviously the saw is light enough to be able to use all day. doesn't take too long. So it's a great little saw. I'd definitely recommend these upgrades opposed to the ones you get. Um, brilliant saw.